Octopath. Oh shit, we're already alive. Yeah, you're I was still late. twittering. I'm Stop sorry. Tweeting. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Yesk. Uh, I run Octopath. Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Zonerus. I also run Octopath sometimes. Um, so, maybe first of all, real quick, I haven't told you this, but uh, maybe a quick shout out for the guy who was initially supposed to run this. Uh, oh, yeah. El Magus. Uh, he submitted essentially the same idea we did, and he got picked in the first place, but uh, unfortunately, he couldn't attend because of reasons and we're like uh, the B team so to speak yeah and so uh, we're don't here now much. <laughs> yeah and uh, so for all of you who are not very familiar with Octopath Traveler uh, might really quick uh, describe what this entire thing is about so as the name of this game suggests Octopath uh, there's eight different characters in this game and you can start with any of the eight and you can collect the other seven like at any point as you choose and so all eight characters have their own individual like story and therefore uh, their own individual speedrun uh, it just happens that all of them are like about the same time speedrun wise all of them are about an hour and yeah we made a bid war um, to, to decide who of us is going to uh, who of us thing? is going to be running, and who yes. of us is going to, and which character is going to be using? And on the topic of that, could we get the results of that bid work, please? Yeah, he has four characters, and I have four characters. Yeah. Uh, quickly, before we do that, we've got one donation for you guys here from Laurie D Bunnykins. Hey. Five dollar donation saying hello from the Octopath speedrun community. Good luck, Zonarisk or Yisk, whoever is running Octopath. You know, I love Octopath, and I can't think of two better runners to show it off at ESA. Cheers to Octopath. But wait a minute, there's a character whose name starts with an A. Alfin? Who's yeah. that? It's a best boy. Alfin's best boy. But uh, well. we, we will close that donation off right now and winning the donation with a massive lead of about $105 is best girl Tressa. So we're playing Tressa's story. All right. Ooh. If someone doesn't like that. Uh, and on the topic yeah, of that's his character, by the way. We're sorry for making this introduction so long, but on the topic of bid wars, um, yeah, what's the, the other result bid of war? the language bid war? Uh, the language bid war is English. You could keep <laughs> that rolling. We could like swap mid-boss or something. Yeah, no worries. On. But so just I'll keep, keep the language one rolling. Yeah. All right. You you want to start? You ready to start? Uh, I mean, should I press the button buttons? Do you want to press the button? Yes. Yes. I mean, if it works, I don't know. Does Hopefully. it work? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I guess we'll said. find out in just a second. Yeah. All right. All right. So count. You count us down. Why not? Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, one go. go. <laughs> Woo! Woo! It's Tressa Octopath, everyone's favorite merchant. Yes. So hey, welcome to Octopath. It's the game about eight characters that are traveling. Kinda. We also have paths. Oh yeah, and as Tresta just said, good morning by the way from uh, lovely Melmo, because it's like 7 p.m. Uh, 7 a.m. at our place. Good morning, people. Um, so Tressa, um, I mean every every character starts with like their first chapter, obviously. Um, Tressa is pretty short. There's not much to do. Uh, you just. Speak with a few NPCs, buy a few things. Um, uh, one thing that makes this game really, really awesome for speedrun is that you can skip cutscenes. Otherwise, this game would not be just an estimate of one hour. Um, yeah, there are many cutscenes, and they're all very long. Yes. I think Tressa's intro prologue is like one of the shortest, and you don't really do much anyway. Yeah, By the way, did you buy the wolf spell? I did buy the wolf spell. Thank you for reminding me. You told me to. So. On the topic of that, the wolf spell is great and it's useful. Like, I think it's useful like once or twice, but it's great and I love it. Uh, so you buy the wolf spell at the start because you need some more damage with the bow specifically, and then you use Tress's path action, which is purchase to purchase a bunch of things. Also, uh, this is the fighting mechanic. It works in Should the I way explain? Of Please do, actually. Okay, so the fighting mechanic in this game is pretty cool. So every enemy 
in this game has like shields in front of their name. This is like the break mechanic. Um, they are weak to specific types of elemental damage or like melee attacks. For example, this guy is weak to spear. And they have like varying amounts of shield. And if you break them, like if you chip away the shields, uh, they break, so to speak. And what that does is they won't attack for uh, the, the turn you break them and for the next turn. And they take like more damage. I'm not sure about the specifics about more damage. If it's like doubled or something. I don't know. I don't know, but it's a lot. I mean, like it's significant enough to it is be a mentioned lot more. that it uh, that it does a lot more damage. <laughs> and there's also you haven't seen it yet, but there's also the other mechanic called the boost mechanic. I boosted a bunch. Oh really? Okay, yeah. didn't catch it. My bad. Um, what that does, like, I mean, we're not in a fight, so I can't say, but uh, basically, it just makes your attacks more awesome. Yeah. So you have these like little yellow dots. Uh, you gain one of them at like every turn and for melee attacks you just do them more times if you boost them and if you do like magic attacks you just increase their damage so yeah like this 472 damage suddenly because he boosted his magic attack we killed that guy by the way because we need the uh, not the experience but the JP um, how that works uh, JP gen stands for job points and XP like experience. Uh, experience just determines your level and with level just comes some basic stats like health and some attack damage and stuff. And the JP points, the job points are actually used to learn new abilities. And uh, every boss or like every enemy gives like varying amounts. And we need a certain amount of JP at some point. Uh, since this is a JRPG, you don't really, I mean, we, we won't, won't grind as much for like other JRPG speedruns. There's just a tiny section and then we're good to go. And uh, yeah, this is like the first, uh, the boss of Tressa's chapter one. This is Mick and Mac, the two pirate buddies. Um, They're like us, buddies. Hmm? They're like us, buddies. Wow. Just one is a bit cooler than the other. Yeah, you're right. Because one is running, and the one is not. Feels bad, man. Bad man. Um, yeah, this fight, this fight in, in particular is very interesting because you fight two guys at the same time. Uh, every other character only has like one boss as like a, a one character. Um, there's like some adds to some of the bosses, but like these count as like two bosses. And the way you manage the fight is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, you just chip away their, their shield, like that's the blue thing, uh, like below them. And you can see one guy's broken and he just killed him. And now the other guy's broken. Now he boosts the wind attack and kills the second guy. Like this fight right here is like pretty optimized. And I think you should never lose it. Yeah, losing you, it, you lose it if, you're li if you uh, don't heal when you have to. I was a bit unlucky. I had to heal twice instead of once because I got a bad turn order and I got some uh, annoying attacks. Yeah, for um, yeah, since it's a turn-based game, uh, at the top of the screen when you're in battle, you can see um, like the turn order who's going up next uh, for the current turn and for the next turn. And turn orders are, I mean, it varies on fights, but on some fights it's it's more important that certain people go like kind of first before others and in others it doesn't really matter that much but just something to uh, you know keep in mind yeah some fights are just unwinnable with bad turn orders and some are like turn orders don't matter at all yes i also i think we showed this once yeah in the pirate encounter i defend it and when you defend oh yeah you sort of move forward in the turn order to the first possible spot and you that's only really overtaken by newly break, broken enemies or no what i'm explaining poorly please do explain better defending yeah defending explain all of it okay so for all you or you who people who played this game casually at home probably never used the defend mechanic because please it who sucks. uses defend right it sucks but in the speedrun, it's actually pretty useful because when you, like he tried to explain, when you defend, 
uh, you go like guaranteed next in like the next turn but at like the cost that you don't do anything you just like bolster your defenses and if somebody attacks you you take just a little bit less damage but it's like the, the boosting of the defense is not really enough to make it worth it. It's more just the fact that you can like manipulate turn order to a certain degree that whoever character um, does the defending, he goes like next in the next turn, which uh, we abuse just to make sure certain people do their action in a specific turn, which is uh, quite helpful. The one fight I decide to YOLO flee and it doesn't work. What does it do? Yeah, so fleeing is pretty interesting. Oh, nice, dude. So whenever you're fleeing, there's a certain chance you can get away, or maybe not. And it's this game is programmed in a way when you try to attempt to flee multiple times in a row, you I think it's like the fourth try, you get it 100% of the time. Fifth like try. <coughs> fifth try. Fifth? Okay, so... Yeah. If you try to flee for the fifth time, it's guaranteed and like the more times you try to flee, the higher the success state rate becomes. And uh, yeah, so we're picking up our second character here. This is Cyrus, my personal favorite character. I think he, he was like second in the in the bid war probably. Worst boy. Worst boy, okay. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, Cyrus is like the scholar guy. He he enjoys like reading and like magic and stuff. And uh, yeah, you he like reflects that in his combat abilities. Yeah, so obviously like spells, right? Yeah. So right now I'm just killing two encounters. So I can get 30 JP on Tressa. Because when I get 30 JP, I get the best ability in the entire game. Oh yes, we're using this. Yeah. In this fight, I forgot. So, depending on which character you start, like every speedrun of the game has like their own like, let's say like optimal team composition, and Tressa is the only character that gets used in all eight of the speedruns of the single story speedruns, because she just has like. As a merchant, she has the most broken ability in the game and her like unique character skills that she can buy things off of NPCs, which only she can do. So if you don't have Tressa in your party, you can't buy items from NPCs, which is... Eh. Pretty bad. I mean, yeah, it's pretty bad. So, yeah, this is Russell. He's the boss of, uh, of Cyrus's first chapter. And uh, yeah, so this fight will be a lot quicker, so essentially you just break him so he gets vulnerable to more damage, I think, or maybe not. No, you just kill him with oh yeah, bandits. yeah, you just do that. There is another route where you kill him with bandits, but this route isn't very tight on money, so you can just kill him with dancers uh, turn earlier instead. Yeah, Tressa uh, in itself is pretty interesting as a speed run, because in Tressa you can essentially pick whatever team composition you want and you'll be fine. There are like four diff four five different routes you can do with Tressa and all of them are like completely fine. Other characters are like more specific which characters you kind of need. By the way, did keep, you... Keep explaining, please. Did you scrutinize the guard guy for the stone? No. Don't you need that? Oh yeah, you get oh. My, I get the light yeah, I, 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 there a I, 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 uh, I, I, uh, yeah, wrong yeah. stones. Yep. You can scrutinize the guard guy for a thunder cell stone, which makes the howler encounter in the whistle with guarantee. Yeah, I, I. Uh, but I'm not whoops. gonna get that encounter because I'm gonna get a cape. Oh, that that'd be pretty hard. Please explain what a cape is. Yeah, maybe it's just real quick. Uh, Cyrus's like unique ability is scrutinizing people, so you get some additional like information off of them. Uh, that can be. A lot of things, but in most cases, we scrutinize people for like items who are just randomly laying around somewhere. And he just got a soul stone. And what a soul stone is, is a usable item which uh, does damage. There are like three types of them like small, medium, and large. And depending on what you use, it does more damage. And it always does like a fixed amount of damage. 
And uh, yeah, we just got a medium one from that Scrutinize, which we'll be using in just a bit. And so this is the only like grinding section of the run. Every single single story run does this, or like every Octopath run in general does this, kind of. Yeah. Uh, this is Whistlewood. Um, you could also call this like the grave of Octopath because a lot of speedruns die at this point. Um, because this is like a, a, a semi-high level-ish area. I mean, for our specific level, it's high level. And uh, yeah, these are four frogs. This is exactly what we don't want. I mean, kind of make it work, but yeah, normally you don't want it. That's the worst encounter you can get. Yeah, there are like three good encounters in this area, but all of them are like uncommon. And like the one you just saw, the four uh, frogs are pretty, pretty common. And it matters because the other enemies give more job points and we need more job points than the four frogs. And Cyrus needs exactly 100 job points. He needs 130 actually. Oh yeah, that's true. So that's 130, yeah, sorry. Most routes actually uh, get 30 job points on Cyrus and then teach him Lightning Blast. This route does not do that because Lightning Blast is bad. Wow. And uh, here, by the way, we just get a Thunder Soulstone M. You can only get this after you finish Tressa's Chapter 1, so you can't get it any earlier. And uh, yeah, why job points matter right here, the 130 for Cyrus. Um, every every character has like passive abilities, which they gain depending on like how many abilities they learn. And um, every single speedrun of Octopath tries to get the evasive maneuvers, passive ability as fast as possible. That's like the entire early game of every Octopath run. Um, and what evasive maneuvers essentially does is you can walk further before getting a random encounter. I th I'm not sure uh, on the specifics of this, but I think without evasive maneuvers, you can like walk 30 s or like you can imagine it like this. Without evasive maneuvers, you can walk 30 steps without getting encounter, and anywhere from 30 to 60 steps, you will get an encounter somewhere, uh, increasing in likelihood. And with evasive maneuvers, you can walk like 60 steps without an encounter, and between 60 and 90, you will start uh, becoming like uh, chances increase. You get an you get an encounter, and uh, we kind of need that ability. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. I think it like, if I recall correctly, it lets you walk 2.5 times faster or further. Not faster, like still slow. Yeah, kinda. And um, most of you who don't play this game just may think, oh, getting less encounters. Oh, that that sounds that sounds not too bad. I mean, that sounds helpful, right? But it's actually pretty crucial in this run to get it um, early. Because um, we will traver we'll be traversing some really high level areas, and without evasive maneuvers, we will get like encounters pretty much everywhere. And since it's like higher level areas, they will just one shot us, which um, would be uh, kind of bad. Yeah, evasive maneuvers is really just what makes this run so short. I think without it, it would be probably a couple hours long. Yeah, I mean, there there's kind of a lot of things that goes into Octopath that makes this like a cool speed game. Like skipping cutscenes, for example, is one reason this game is kind of short. Evasive maneuvers is another one. And there's, there's like, Soul Stones is a pretty good thing. Higher help, which we're going to explain when it... I mean, he used it already, but I, I guess... I used it a lot. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can explain, like, a bit. Yeah, it's and literally yeah. pay to win. And explain further, please. Yeah, there's just a, a lot of nice things in this game to have as a speed game. Um, if just a few things were different, this Octopath speedrun could like easily be like two to three hours for every single character. And uh, yeah, Hired Help, which is essentially pay to win, but like in a good sense. Yeah, so it's good pay to win. the merchant as a class has can learn the ability Hired Help, which as the, ma the name suggests, you can uh, use money to get like specific attacks or like yeah use money you have like four different uh, five different tiers and the more money you spend like the better the attack will be but like the more expensive it gets and the uh, hired help is not dependent on any of your character stats so it, it always it's like always like the same amount of damage ish it's like tied to the amount of money you spend 
And uh, yeah, so it turns out that one of these abilities, which consumes a lot of money, also does a lot of damage. And when I say a lot of damage, I mean, like, damage you should not be having at, like, early to mid-game. Yeah, you'll see it in, like, 20 Every boss? 30 minutes, probably. No, not 20, the run's gonna be over by then, like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not, but, like, you'll see it soon, TM. Soon, TM. So, another cool trick you can do right here is uh, safe quitting, which uh, he is doing right now. So he's just saving on the save point and he's going uh, back to the main menu and loading that save. What that does is it resets the step counter. So now he's in the middle of the area, but because he just loaded in, like the, the distance he can walk until he gets an encounter starts at zero again. And we'll be abusing that at some places where at, at some, uh, like, let's say, screens where even with evasive maneuvers you can't make it, like, guaranteed without an encounter. So just just to be safe. And the area we're in right now is also a, a bit too high level for us. If we would get an encounter, we would pretty much die instantly. And yeah, what, we just, uh, what just happened here, this is a job shrine. Um, this is kind of a mid-game thing, you're not supposed to do these kind of things in like early game. As you see their danger level 23 as it was in the uh, bottom left corner that says like the game s tells you like Loki it suggests that you should be like around level 23 in this area and we're like level 5 or so. Want me to check? Yeah. We should be about level 7 at this point. Yep. Level yeah seven level six. 7 in like a level 25 area so yeah that's uh, kind of hype. But yeah, good thing we have evasive maneuvers, and it doesn't matter if we get an encounter, like if we get an encounter, because we won't, Oops. because evasive maneuvers is OP, like the most useful ability. Uh, but yeah, uh, back to job shrines. So, uh, like I said, every character has like their class, like a class associated to them, which they just have innate. But every character also has like a job class. So, for example, uh, Tressa is the merchant and Cyrus is the scholar. And you can get, like, secondary jobs for scholar and, like, merchant and, like, every other class in the game. And, um, I mean, what's better than just one hired help, most broken ability in the game? Hey, let's just get two hired helps, most broken ability in the game. And, uh, which we just did. We got the merchant shrine, which is, conveniently enough, uh, is in our path to Gold Shore because we need to go there anyway. Um, there's other single story runs of this game. For example, Primrose and Therion. There's like a quote unquote one merchant route where you don't pick up the merchant shrine because it's kinda um, far, yeah, far away to get. Like Either of the runs actually go to Gold Coast or Gold Shore, which yeah. is why you don't need to grab the merchant shrine. It saves about a minute on each route, I think. I don't know. I don't run Therion and Prim, so I wouldn't know. But you do. I do, so you actually. Should know. Yeah, I, sh I should know, but I don't know the specifics. It's like, it's like about a minute. I just, spe just speedrun the things uh, semi-fast. Or like I attempt to. Don't judge. Thanks. Yeah, if you look this guy up in the leaderboard, you will find like... You will find two runs. Yeah. They're, all <laughs> they're both pretty old. You'll find like, yeah, two runs. Yeah, but he has a run of the longest, like, official category, Galdera, which takes, like, five hours or so. Yeah, I so think it's pretty like, 529. Alright. It's bad. So, um... In, in terms of, like, routing, all, all of the eight characters, single story speedruns, are, like, similar. You can imagine it like this. Um, in, in the early game, you just uh, get... Uh, like a full team assembled and you run around in high level areas to collect some of uh, some really good loot as you'll be seeing right here by the way danger level 50 so the game suggests being level 50 in this area and we're level 7 but because evasive maneuvers is cool so cool very, uh, cool. very cool we we won't get uh, any encounters so we just grab two cool chests and uh, teleport up and uh, yeah, the, the mid to early game is essentially always you run around, collect stuff in high level areas because uh, evasive maneuvers is pretty cool. 
and uh, you assemble your team, and then like mid to mid to late game, you just kill all of the other bosses, and yeah, that's essentially Octopath single story speedruns in a nutshell. You collect stuff, you kill stuff, essentially. Yeah, here he buys some uh, important items. Mainly just soul stones that do a lot of damage and pomegranates, which we're going to use eventually, so we'll get to them when we get there. Yes, and like I said, uh, you can only buy items if you have trust on your party. Um, the designers wanted to make like every character unique and, and kind of useful, but it turns out in the speedrun some characters are more useful than others. And uh, Tressa uh, turns out to be uh, pretty useful. And yeah, since we collected some cool stuff, we're gonna get to our third character, which is Mr. Old Barrack, the warrior. Um, he's pretty cool. Uh, he's, his chapter is pretty short, kind of. Yeah, it just consists of two fights. Hopefully, we might get random encounters. Yeah, in this screen right here, there's a there's a minor chance you can get an encounter, which would be, you know, just minor time loss, but we'll be fine. Yeah, that would be unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> because our estimate with Tressa is very tight. Yeah, imagine, like, going over estimate. <laughs> going over <laughs> estimate on a Tressa run. So we're making jokes about this because Tressa is the, s the shortest character out of all um, of the eight characters. Um, I initially did submissions, I just like squeezed him in. But like, um, I, I said that all of the eight characters are around-ish same time, but it turns out Tressa is like the fastest and our estimate of like 1 hour 10 is like uh, kind of a lot for Tressa. I mean, I think... The, the PC world record for Tressa is like 43 minutes or something. I think you're right. And it's not that optimized either, I think. It, Tressa could probably go to like 39. Yeah, I think Tressa... Yeah, maybe. If if anybody, Tressa would be like the only character who can get like a sub 40 on PC. Yeah. And yeah, so I, I, I kind of had to balance to find like a way to find a good estimate to to fit all of the eight characters. Uh, well, Barrick is generally considered the longest. Um, the world record on PC is just barely below one hour. And yeah. it was just achieved like, I think like a week ago or so maybe. So yeah, you have like 20 minutes difference in, in uh, Old Barrick and Tressa. But all of the other characters in between, they're like, uh, yeah, about an hour. So yeah. And yeah, so we got our third character here, Mr. Olberic. Um Yeah, about the fight, there's not much to talk about. Like, there's this big guy and you just, you know, throw these stones at him. The soul stones, um, which turns out they do a lot of damage. Oh yeah, battle sprites. Battle sprites in this game are massive. Oh but yeah, that's, uh, that's true. If you didn't notice already, which you probably did, and people in chat are probably talking about it. I don't know. Big guy. Big guy. Monk guys. Do you mind if I jump in with a few donations? Feel free to. Yes. Yeah, we go. got a five dollar donation from Mittenel saying, Good morning, Octopath Travelers. We've also got a fifty dollar donation from iPi for fun saying, Hey yes, good luck on the run. Try not to mess up and stuff. Yeet dab. Yeet dab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've also got a $5 donation from MOD366 saying, Awesome to see best girl Tressa being picked for the Octopath Traveler story. By the way, did you know that the first letters of the eight protagonists' uh. names spell out Octopath? Kappa. So let's Whoa, see. Oh, really? <laughs> so let's see. Since this bid war is done, where does my money go? How about the DK rap? It sounds awesome. I didn't know the Drift King had a rap. Nice. I thought it spelled out cat photo. Yeah, so just for everybody here, as our gracious donation we just said, uh, the initial letters of the eight characters make up Octopath. And uh, there is an Octopath subreddit, and there, there's like this meme going on that about, uh, let's just say every three days or so, somebody makes like a post, oh boy, the way I just realized, like, did you know? The initial letters of every character makes up Octopath. And everybody's like, whoa, really? Mind blown. Victory, Ingenious. I didn't know that. Game design. 
Well, you do now. Yeah, thanks, Tornado. And yeah, there's another big guy, Monka S. So, the developers of this game really wanted to make sure that you can realize when like somebody is dangerous or like intimidating. So, they made all of the bosses like three times or like five times the size of your characters for reasons. And yeah, this is Helganish. This is the boss, or rather was the boss of uh, Primrose's chapter one. And yeah, Primrose is the last character we get in this specific route. This is the old Barrick Primrose route. As I mentioned earlier, in, in Tressa you can essentially pick whatever character you want and you will most likely be fine because Tressa is like kind of considered the easiest run. Um, if you come to us into the uh, Octopath Discord and you ask, hey, uh, which character should I start with? Which like easiest to start? Most people will recommend Tressa. In my honest opinion, it doesn't really matter as much because in terms of difficulty, all eight characters are mostly the same. I would not recommend Primrose because her last boss is kind of yikes she has, she has the hardest single story boss in the entire game. And yeah, without a doubt. And it's like, it, it just sucks and that's why I love Primrose so much and that's why Primrose is best girl. Alright. Good to know. Yeah. Unlike Tressa. You're welcome. Tressa's like second best girl. No. What do you mean no? Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like you're factually incorrect. No. Just no. So yeah, as we um, since we assembled the Avengers, uh, we're now on our way to uh, to do some uh, yeah to like progress the story kind of sorta ish. Yeah, um, we're gonna do Tressa Chapter Two after only thirty minutes. Yeah, like I said, the like the first half of every single story Octopath consists out of running around, collecting stuff, getting your other characters, and then the second half of the game is just killing chapter 2, 3, and 4 of the uh, specific character you choose as your starting character. And uh, yeah. For, for everybody who gets like con confused with the term single story, uh, every character uh, has their own story and it's like split up in four different chapters and for a, a single story run to be like quote unquote officially be done you just have to kill the chapter four boss of your specific character and yeah 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 and this is uh, Tressa's chapter two area you just run around and collect or like not collect but you buy a bunch of things so you're you're in this like mining um, town, and uh, the guys here, they uh, they mine some like shi shimmering green stones or something, and you as a merchant, you buy them and sell them for more because that's what merchants do, as this game taught me, and uh, yeah, and as as we will find out in just a bit, like the the local lord of this area, he kind of dislikes that we're just like buying his quote unquote property yeah, and it's his, uh, he owns the land, right? yeah I think so it's a while since I actually played through the, st the actual story of this game like actually played paid close attention I mean I think that's how Octopath works just like everything's yours if you own it kinda yeah so you would not we just skip this cutscene but you know the the land like the Lord he just can't can got kind of mad and uh, from here on, we could go to like the the chapter two boss, but uh, we decide not to because we will be running around and uh, collecting more things that will be useful for later on. Uh, mainly here, for example, will be the thief oh. sub job. And uh, yeah, you know, evasive maneuvers is pretty cool, but sometimes it's it's not quite enough. There's like a random chance that you can still get an encounter. Uh, just use mercs. Why? Oh yeah, you're right. You could have used double mercs and yeah, fled yeah, with yeah. Cyrus. I'm, I'm good at this game. Are you? Primrose just died. Primrose can die. Like, what, what does Primrose do? Let's be honest. Oh, wait. Well, not bewildering grace. 
You, you always use the Wounding Grace. I don't know what Sonarius is talking about. The Wounding Grace is the best ability in the game, and I wish every single route had it routed in so that it would be great and like fun and everybody would enjoy this game instead of doing whatever this is. Well, I'm, pre <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody who played this game casually hopefully abused Bewildering Grace. Yeah, it's so overpowered. I don't know why anyone like would not use it. Yeah, so... To explain this a bit more clearly, Bewildering Grace is a, a dancer ability, which um, it's like a dance which creates a random effect and there's a plethora of random effects. And um, there's an effect of like JP X2, X5 and X100 and experience times 2, times 5 and times 100. Um, especially the... Yeah, just imagine being in a fight use Bewildering Grace and you get like XP times 100 so whatever experience you get from that fight is like multiplied by 100 and in most fights that's um, that's gonna be a lot of experience giving you a lot of levels and I when I played this game casually I kind of instead of like grinding levels as normal people I just went to like semi high levelish area used Bewildering Grace and hoped I get like the XP or the JP ones and like grinded like that way. Can't believe you speed ran the game before you started speed running the game. That's like the speed run strap for grinding. Kinda. Grinding, is, grinding is super slow so nobody actually does it. I mean technically you don't really need to grind. Like the only grinding section in this game is like getting the evasive maneuvers passive ability from the scholar shrine. Oh, right, or the, BG the scholar is joke. technically a grind. I keep forgetting. I mean BG what no Whistlewood, sorry. <laughs> I'm good at the words sometimes. Okay, so coming up here is Omar. Omar is the chapter 2 boss of Tressa. And he's like... Uh, what? Kind of the most dangerous? Yeah, d depending on, on what happens. He, we can either like kill him first try or we can lose a lot of time. Because he kills us. Because we're factually still kind of really low level that we're not supposed to be. And um, yeah, but we'll we'll find out. Shout out to Save Slot Two, by the way. Great game. It's not my fault that I want to keep my saves yeah. clean, alright? Yes. To Is it? Shit. I'm yeah. Ready. If you can tell, Chad, the big guy. That's Omar, by the way. Okay, and from Shout this out point to up. Death. To what? Death. Oh. I, yeah. This is like, yeah. This is kind of unwinnable. <laughs> That's not gonna work ever. Yeah, as you can see, we're maybe a little bit under leveled since they kind of one hit us. So. Like me. It it will, it'll, we'll be fine, guys. We'll be fine. Just, just don't worry about it's it. Like, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't worry. Okay, but uh, from this point on, on, um, there's like, the the, like. In a nutshell, how are we gonna defeat every boss from this point on? Whoa. <laughs> what an MVP, Jesus Christ. That wow. guy just killed our entire party. I didn't realize I'm, I should have probably like healed up beforehand. Oh really? You think so? They were good. They one-shot you anyway, so what's the point of healing? They don't one-shot you, they do like 400 damage. Sometimes, like Obrick, for example. I was just example, kidding. Can't survive. You're kidding? Sorry, I don't understand deadpan sarcasm. I am ready. Yeah, you, you better be sorry. Okay, yeah. Maybe this time it works, so... Ah, nope. <laughs> nope, definitely. <laughs> Welcome to Omar, by the way. Yeah, like I said, this guy, either you just kill him in first try, or you'll sit here for like 5 to 10 minutes. Oh, I didn't heal. Nice. Who needs healing? I just get like the perfect turn order, right? Uh, yeah, good luck with getting perfect turn order. Alright, this is like, I don't you think like this is gonna work, but who knows, it might work. Maybe. Not like this? Yeah, not like that. Nope. I, I, to I, I, by the way, heard you're gonna donate $5 for every time you die in this fight? Uh, you, you might have heard incorrectly, actually. <laughs> uh, said, you, I thought you said you were gonna donate $5 for every time I died in this fight. I wanted to make a donation thing about Whistlewood, but since I'm not playing, Sorry guys. 
Yeah, sorry. I'm, I don't have word. I don't have money. Sorry, guys. I spent it all on this beautiful game. Great game. Very expensive. But great game. You mind yeah. if I jump in quickly? Please do a donation. This Go. Yeah. Go Please. Uh, we, we, we've got a $25 donation from AI Min. Uh, no comment on this one, but I do want to give a quick shout out to the uh, the city of Mammo. We are currently hosting ESA in the Quality View Hotel in the city of Mammo. They are a fantastic town. They are making sure we feel right at home here, and hopefully it'll be our home for ESA for times to come. Uh, unlike this home that we're in right now. Come on, be nice to us, boss, please. It will be fine. We have estimate this. Estimates like super nice. I I, I just don't want to go over an hour because that would be embarrassing. Let's get down to business. Yeah, welcome to Omar. This guy's like, why am I getting the exact same turn order every single time? Could they stop? Could they like not do that? All right, that's good. That's, yeah, yeah, we're good. Maybe you found like RG manipulation? Yeah, this is this is it, this is RNG manip. That was not RNG manip shit. Uh, we're good actually, because we can just do this, and then he's not gonna kill anyone. Hopefully. He just we can killed the guy he revived, can, so then we can like, can not kill anyone? <laughs> Come on! Stop like going. Uh, you know what? We're fine. We're just fine. Yeah, we're fine. This is gonna go well. That's not what I want to do. My focus is on parallel. I'm so glad you guys choose English. I am too. The English is the best language. That's English. Yeah, that's. Don't forget your armor corrosive. Armor what? I'm sorry, I don't speak uh, teeth thief. I don't. Wow. Well, okay. Nice me. Yeah. I just want to save you from doing this boss <laughs> over again. Okay? You think I'd mess up something that simple? And you're right. Yeah. Okay. You just basically <laughs> saw the the strategy we'll be using from this point on. Oh well, yeah. To welcome to hired help, by the way. Yeah. So from this point on. It's always like the same strategy. You try to break the boss, so uh, he's so the boss is vulnerable to more damage. Then you use armor corrosive, which decreases their physical defense by something I don't know. And then you use hired help, uh, 30k, uh, which means you spend 30,000 leaf, which is the currency in this game, to. Uh, um, call on the veterans, which is like the, the the best thing you can do with the hired help ability. And the hired help guys, they do like six to seven thousand damage with armor each corrosive. with armor corrosive. And um, just to put this in perspective, doing six thousand or seven thousand damage, that's like that's pretty late game stuff. Like you're not supposed to do this much damage in a chapter two boss fight, and not even in a chapter three boss fight, yep. and maybe not even in a chapter four boss. So, but it costs thirty thousand leaf, which is quite a lot. That's a lot of money. Like, how much money do you have right now, just to put? Do you this want me to check? Yes. All right. I might have a little bit less. Sixty-four thousand. I've got yeah. not a lot of money because I. What's it called? I did a bad, and the grind costed a lot of money because I used bandits like five times, which is a lot of money. So much? Sixty-four thousand or something? Yeah, it, it's fine because Tress is like not tight on money at all. Yo, just to put this in perspective, so from this point, like right now, we could only use the hired help 30k twice, and then our money is completely gone. But we'll probably get some more. Yeah, we're gonna we we've got a lot of money in items and stuff. I'm entering Hunter's Hollow, not Hunter's Hollow, what's it? Hunter's Shrine because... Oh yeah, that's the thing as well, we need the... Uh yeah, I'm resetting the step counter by changing the screen. Some people say you can make this trip, some people are also liars, so I don't trust them. Um. I've never made that trip. <laughs> I, I kind of do it frequently, kind of, but... Do you like resetting your runs 40 minutes in? I mean, if you get past Omar... Then you might want to go safe because if that was a single, like an, an a PB attempt, you probably reset because you died like seven times on Omar. I'd probably reset and whistle it, honestly. Oh yeah, okay, f fair enough. Okay, so uh, this is like chapter three area of the game of Tressa. This is uh, Victor's Hollow. This is, is kind of a warrior town because in the background there's a Colosseum and like Hello. people fight there, but we'll never see that because that's part of Alberic's story. So. Um, 
that feels bad, man. Um, yeah, right now you just run around, talk to some NPCs, uh, buy some stuff, some kind of quest-related, like story-related things, and you know, talk to some people and uh, story. Boring, I you, know. What's the story? I I didn't know this game had story actually until now. I just wanna like quickly say this. I d I don't know why Tressa is like so like popular. Her story is like one of the most boring stories of. I mean, you think so? It is. It, it, I, I mean, it isn't though. It's like it it's, is. It's actually a good story. No. It is. No. What do you mean no? Yes. No. Like this guy. Yes. This guy. Yeah, he's wrong. I'm correct. You are factually incorrect. I'm factually correct. How? Like, please explain to me how you are correct in the fact that Tressa's story is bad. Because there I heard a lot of people say it's the most boring story. I also heard a lot of people say it's their favorite story and that's why Tressa is best girl. Which she isn't, by the way, Prim is. Sorry. They're lying. I mean, they're lying on the part that Tressa's best girl, because she isn't. But they're not lying on the part that... The Honestly, the I like Tressa just as a character more than I like her story. I mean, Tressa as a character is just... You just like the merchant part, honestly. Like, you just like the money. Is that why? No. I mean, none of anybody here would, like, notice because we skip all of the cutscenes, but Tressa is just like... In, like, she's just a, like, a pretty chill gal. She, she's, like, just traveling around, trying to have some adventures and stuff, like, not caring too much. I, mean, I guess she, she's caring. she's probably fun to be around, so that's why I I think she she she's a cool character in that sense. But her story is yeah whatever. I think we talked enough enough about her story. Tressa is and it's super boring. <laughs> <coughs> it's not. <coughs> uh, Night shadows that encounter by the way. It happens like all the time. Shadows being caught by surprise. That's why I saved because I knew that this encounter was gonna happen. Yeah, good call. And I was gonna die because there are like five people. Before I turn. Yeah, he's he's just a few steps away from uh, so chapter from the chapter three boss. Um, but this entire dungeon he's in is super big, and even with the evasive maneuvers, passive abilities, you need to reset at the save point once. And even then, you have a, 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 there's like a, a chance to get an encounter. But yeah, this is Venom Tooth Tiger. Uh, Venom Tooth Tiger is absolutely free. Kinda. Um, He's pretty free. You, you can't lose this fight in a sense that you die. Because this fight is pretty scripted. If you do the exact same thing every time, and he does the exact same thing every time, and uh, he should be dead in, in three turns. There's a minor, a very, very, very minor chance, and I would be, I, I honestly, I probably die out of laughter if this happens. It's four percent, so we're gonna get it. Hype. Yes. So you use the, the collect ability, uh, which only the merchants have, which you can like steal money off of enemies, and you have to use this on this guy. I spent. I was not close. Nobody looked. And uh, yeah, I think that. You're, it's not 100%. It's 96%. Yeah, it's 90, 96% chance of collecting. There's and if you don't get the money, oh, he nice. does. That feels bad. Come uh, on. Have a taste of Come on. That was good. I did yeah, well. Yeah, for you. Where's my entertainment? <laughs> hey, I. Like, what do you want? You you wanted me to play Alphen. Like, I did want you to play Alphen. The Alphen, arguably yeah. worst single story in this game. I just want to mention this so that everyone can laugh at me or whatever. Alphen is best boy. No. What do you mean? What do you mean no? Whoever laughed, thank you. <laughs> Shout out to the guy laughing. Yes. That's the fun with Alphen. Uh, Tre Tressa and Alphen are like the most two boring character stories. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Like, I. Okay, must, I, I. I must have heard you incorrectly. Like, could you say that again, please? Okay, I said, Tressa and Elfin have yeah. the most boring stories I in mean, this <laughs> video game. I'm sorry, Tech. I'm not even <laughs> correctly. <laughs> you must be like something must be wrong because I can't hear Sundaris right now. I mean, I think it's better. What do you, 
What do you mean better, no? What? Oh, you're understanding me now? Okay, <laughs> no. interesting. I mean, excuse me, what? Oh shit, no wait. Crap, I I messed up. Don't worry about Stop it. Stop talking and just play the video game. I can talk. I'm Focus. Trying, I'm trying to play the video game. Focus! You're, you're you're saying things that are like incorrect factually and I'm I'm here playing the video game and you're like uh You're making me like sad. Sad that's a fish tooth by the way. Who? Fish tooth, the thing I just sold. Oh. Where did you get that? What? Where did I get what? Fish I need tooth. More money. Damn. That's 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 not enough. I, okay. I'm um, like yeah. Just to be serious, just uh, for uh, one second again. So this is the uh, chapter four area of Trust Story. This is where we'll fight the last boss of the game in a few minutes ish. And uh, yeah, just doing some uh, equipment. Mm like min-maxing and stuff, buying some things and like essentially just preparing for the last boss of the game which is uh, the chick there in black, Esmeralda or as everybody else calls her Esme or like um, Thai's girl or something or like uh, the girl who should not be standing up oh yeah, you, you will understand in a second ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to Octopath Traveler speed yes. speedruns. Shoutouts to the Octopath Traveler speedrunning Discord, where people talk about speedrunning sometimes and uh, pizza rolls and bagel bites other times. You mean most of the times? Yeah, most of the time. I like to think that pizza rolls and bagel bites both are terrible. And <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the only right answer is obviously um, non potato chips. Well, it was fun with you, buddy, but I'm pretty sure you just got kicked out of the Discord, so... Shoutouts to potato... Come on, don't give me encounters. I don't want that. Shoutouts to potato chips. Uh, I don't even know what you're weak to, like, the fire? Uh, or not weak to fire. Probably swords? Yeah, probably swords. Wait, shit, not that merchant. <laughs> I, I keep so thinking in one merchant routes, I'm sorry. Dude, you're embarrassing me here in front of everybody. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's good, though. That's what I'm planning. I, I was hardcore preparing for this, like, the entire yesterday. <laughs> I was hard... Did, were you awake last night? No, I didn't think no. so. I was. I was playing Octopath. I went to bed to get, like, five hours of sleep. You think I know stuff like that? You know who knows that? Goldera runners. I don't run Goldera. Oh, shit. Once. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, yeah. That's not really a spoiler. It's not really, but it sort of is. Shadow's the uh, longest category in the game, by the way. If you never played this game, the term Galdera means absolutely nothing to you. So yeah, it's I not mean, really a spoiler. It's not a spoiler, but people like to say it's a spoiler, so I'm saying it's a spoiler. So people understand that it is a spoiler, and now it's actually a spoiler. Make sense? Excuse me, what now? I was drifting away for a second. <laughs> Can you repeat that? Uh, no. Okay. I, I, I won't. Sorry. Okay! Uh, yes, I somebody... This is Esme, by the way. Somebody please explain me how she can, like, stand like that. Shout out to this turn order, by the way. My Awful. Let me help. So, yeah, this is the last boss of the game. And, um, That's not what I want to do. I should be good here, actually. Victory. Well, if you do the, the Primrose Alberic route, it's slightly uh, less inconsistent. Right, I'm supposed to boost that. Uh, no worries. I... Boosting that does actually nothing, and I'm saying that because people know it yeah, does I, something and they know I'm wrong. I think somebody in the Discord told me that boosting this ability like increases success chance, but I, I It don't might know. increase like accuracy by a bit. So that's why I'm saying that so people can say, hey, you're wrong. Because that's like the most fun thing. I just but yes, like back to the boss. So uh, at, the, at the start, like turn order is kind of random. You, you try to do specific things. Um, you like manipulate things a bit so you can get the optimal result. Um, but I, th I think he's okay. And uh, yeah, so you essentially do the same thing as in the last two bosses. You use armor corrosive to decrease her physical um, defense. Then you break her so she takes more damage. And then you use uh, pay to win ability in the game and do like... Uh, 24,000 damage each time you do that. Yeah, shout and out you to Ulbrich being dead. Yeah, this is a pretty cool ability. Uh, Ulbrich has the ability called Insight, which forces the enemies to attack him. They, they can't attack anybody else. And we abuse this right here to to force Esme to kill him. 
just so nobody else dies and uh, yeah. After this point we just kinda kill her. Yeah, she's pretty dead at this point. Watch me like mess this up. I'm actually gonna toss an extra soul stone just in you case like I'm, I like mess something up. It shouldn't matter, I shouldn't need this soul How stone. How can you toss an extra one with I got like five I think this turner is super tight. I got five like I'm doing that one by the way. I got five EI procs, so I got a lot of soul stones. Woo, that's the final boss dead. Time doesn't stop quite yet, don't worry. Like, we'll push the button. There yeah. are a lot of cutscenes. Turns out oh, yeah, Tressa, has right. a, Tressa has a story or something. I think you talked about it earlier. Oh yeah, uh, Tre is Tressa is like one of now. two characters who gets to walk for like a little bit after you defeat the final boss. Which one's the other one? Uh, you can't oof. mention it even because you don't know because it doesn't exist. Oh, you do Ophelia after the credits. Yeah. I, I didn't even know that either. Faring well. Yeah, push and button. time! Time! 52. <laughs> time! Octopath! This game's great, by the way. Like, so all, all memes aside, this game's actually really fun. 52 for Tressa. That's quite embarrassing. How do you like, feel? Can I check the leaderboards to see what rank that? I think that's better than your time right now, actually. But you I don't. don't ha I don't have a time for PC. I only have switch times for Tressa. Uh, I believe that leaderboard Th should not dude, be segregated. Listen, my switch time is like 53, and switch has like about two minute times of loading I or so. That the so my time is be better the than same yours. Okay. For switch and PC, even if PC loads a lot faster. Yes. I mean, yes. we've got Zone Areas actually wants to show a thing off. So if okay, so so I'm gonna Alt F4 and then you can show that off. All right. Uh, that's that's sure. good. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Alt F4. That's the only game. That's the only way to like close the game. By the way, shoutouts to my Steam account. Add me. Don't add me, please. <laughs> <laughs> my mic a bit closer. Yes. Hi. This is even like this is. I oh, messed something up. You actually? Oh, you can talk? I thought your <laughs> mic is muted. Oh shit! <laughs> Thanks. I yeah, I don't talk very loudly. I'm sorry. Yeah. So um, the credits they're like six minutes long or something, I and you can't like, skip them. I think it's more like eleven. It's a nice. What, uh, eleven? It's a, it's a nice no pee way. break in the the very long, very very long. No, no, category. no. They're they're never never ever eleven minutes long. You That's so, super long. I don't know. I but yeah, the problem they're is they, they're not uh, skippable, and like there's some like post-credit thing, um, All right, which I is nice. I just want to mention, this time puts me on the seventh place of the official Octopath speedrunning leaderboard. Yeah, and, uh, well, okay, that might sound impressive, but say, how many people are on the leaderboard right, right now? Right now? Yes. Seven. <laughs> I beat one guy! <laughs> Shout out to that one guy I beat. I don't even remember his name. Yeah, just quickly, um, we're playing on the PC version. The PC version got released like a month ago. Uh, this game initially came out on Switch uh, last year. And that's the reason why the PC leaderboard is not as full yet. I think one one character has like three runs on it or something. So yeah. yeah I think, I think the, the Switch Tressa leaderboard has like 40, 50 or something. That, that like quite a lot actually. I've got the page open, so let me just like check that real quick. The Tressa, uh, official Tressa leaderboards on Switch has 57 runs. Which is, you know, a lot of runs. The the least amount of runs, I think, should be Oberic, which is three, because nobody likes Oberic apart from one guy. Shout out to that guy. Shout out to D2 Caps for liking Oberic. He's great. Yes. Shout out to that guy. Okay, so. Are you going to do the boss? No. Do the boss. It's super simple. No. <laughs> Okay, so um, one unfortunate thing about Octopath is there, there's not a lot of glitches. Um, so you don't cool, can do any like funny glitch stuffs. Um, in, the, in the Switch version, version, there's a glitch called the Home Buffer glitch, but that abuses like the Home button on the Switch, uh, which you can't really do on PC. Um, there, there, there has been talk on the Discord. They're trying to replicate something with like just all tabbing out of the game or, or something. I'm not sure what like what what like the, the current status is of that because I think it works but people don't know I like how to properly set it up because on some uh, some setups it works some computers it works it's like monitor dependent and computer dependent and all that stuff depending dependent and I really don't want to do that in, okay. in the marathon 
Yeah, uh, I'm going to show you uh, a one little glitch in this game, which is pretty funny. It does basically nothing. If, if, if anything, it even it like hurts you. Um, but contrary to popular beliefs, there's side quests in this game. All Wait, of them what? are hella boring. You, you just talk to some people and like... Oh, hey, by the way, so begins a tale of her time to shine, which is uh, the quest. Shoutouts to um, the best category in the game, all single stories, also abbreviated ASS. It's great. Ten out all of ten. single stories? All side stories, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, I've got single stories on my mind because we just ran that. The single stories are great. Yeah, so the side quest of that girl is, she's like a dancer and she's like sad. She wants to be like more famous or something. And you can either like um, guide her to a kid and like she dances the kid and like the kid will be super happy and she will be happy and yay! Or you can buy a fancy dress from this girl right here, the diva's dress, and uh, you can give that to her. And we kind of need this for the glitch. So you just buy the dress, go back in here, and pay close attention to like the camera, how, how much it's zoomed in right now. And if I talk to this girl and give her the dress, and now I like skip the dialogue a bit, and like we slightly zoomed in a lot and now we completed that quest and now if I teleport somewhere else watch this be patched in the PC version look how small we are <laughs> this is Octopath Traveler as intended yeah this is called the mini glitch uh, somebody explained it to me like a few days ago so essentially what happens here is uh, when you do the quest like the camera does like zooms in cinematically a little bit and it gets, this gets fixed whenever I walk through a door, but because I just teleported out of like the side quest room, the game still kind of thinks I'm in this like camera position. That's why everybody is like this small. And this would be, I can fix this easily by just walking through like a door. And yeah, this is super hilarious, but the problem is here, I also walk super, super slow. Like I think you saw him running and I'm running right now. So if I walk, like, uh, you'll get, we'll get there eventually. When's mini glitch percent? Mods, get on that. I don't even know if mods are watching, but mods, get on that. So, th I think, yeah, like I said, this is, even if anything, this is, like, not helpful at all in the speedrun. I think, because you're smaller here, and you're running, the step counter, or, like, the, the chances for you to get an encounter increases because your foots are smaller, so you take more steps to get anywhere, so you get random encounters even faster if you run around. I mean, the step counter is based on distance traveled, so I'm not sure. Yeah, and but you're the smaller. Also, the fact that you're getting this far on this screen just kind of disproves your point. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so uh, yeah, you should be sorry. Um, but I'm not sorry about that Tressa is worse story no that's just wrong sorry like why am i sorry i shouldn't be sorry you're wrong um i was trying yeah, to but you can something. funnily enough you can still talk to people and stuff I, I actually never tried this what happens if i if i if i guide this guy will he be the same you didn't guide him you just did. oh yeah because i need to you can't guide that guy apparently what okay him. whoops nice there is also another glitch don't... where you have like one traveler which is actually there somebody saves I time? can allure in here, please? You can allure that guy. No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Yes. Look. Oh. Whoops. All right. Um. And he just turned small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I actually didn't notice, but it it's would, quite hilarious. It would be funnier if he was big, though. Because that would be like a big guy following all the small dudes. Hey, you. You want to be small? Just make all the, all the, th all the people small. <laughs> all right, so... Did <laughs> I just fail? <laughs> oh, it's a 72% Oh, I thought it was 96%. And he's small. <laughs> that would have been... Yeah, like I said, you can fix this glitch easily by just walking through a door, which I'm just going to do real quick to fix this game again. And... Boop! Game is fixed. Normal height. All right. And, uh, yeah. That's it. That's the run. Well, uh, I'm trying to say, like, Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed Octopath Traveler speedruns. Yeah, if I can just do some quick shoutouts real quick. So, uh, first of all, shoutouts shout to the Octopath uh, speedrun community. If anybody of you cool people here is interested in 
speedrunning Octopath, uh, just check out uh, our Discord. There's a lot of people in there. All of them are super helpful. If you have any questions, uh, you'll get an answer in like a few minutes because everybody's great. Yeah. Uh, shout outs to everybody at home in Switzerland that knows me and is watching this early. So thanks for that, guys. Shout out to all of you cool guys here. And yeah, woo! Uh, Clap for the crowd. <laughs> yeah, you're all awesome. Shout outs for all the amazing people at home who donated for our run. Shout out to the people who donated Tressa, so I got to run instead of Sonaris. No shout outs for the people who don't didn't donate from any of my characters, so <laughs> feels bad, man. Uh, shout outs to my fans that are out there, I think. Fans? <laughs> there might be a fan. Shout outs to my fan. <laughs> They're probably great. I love them very much. Um, and yeah, just yeah. last sentence. Uh, last this sentence. is my first time at ESA so Thanks. far. It's absolutely amazing. I'm loving every uh, second of this marathon. And I hope you guys uh, are doing too. And with that, uh, we're heading out. Yeah. I'm Zonris. This Peace. is Yisk. Follow me and on Twitter. <laughs> at, <laughs> at Yisk underscore. Follow, oh, everyone, follow me on Twitter. I post things never. Do that. Thanks. Or Bye. Add Zonaris. And.